It's your girl Melanie. Um, yeah, so this is my seven deadly sins tag. Um, I was tagged by Fabulosity is me. Um, actually, she tagged all her subscribers, and I just kind of like jumped in with both feet. And let's just get right into it. Uh, the first deadly sin uh, is greed. What is the most inexpensive beauty product that I use? And I would have to say. It would be these lip balms from Sephora. They were free. I got them for my birthday. Free 99. Uh huh. Um, and I use it to put under my lipstick, you know, so my lips don't be are chapped, and so um, my lips can look smooth and soft, you know, like they do now. <laughs> yeah. So um, before I got these, I used chapstick, and that wasn't free, but since this is my most inexpensive beauty product. Um, it's called Sugar and I got it from Sephora. Okay, what is your most expensive product? My most expensive product is my Naked One palette. And that was, I got it on eBay, brand new, not even opened for like $30. And then the lady, oh, that might be my most inexpensive product too because the lady ended up giving it to me free because she was going out of the country and um, I was going to send it back. Why was I going to send it back? Because I realized I didn't have all that money for um, eyeshadow and if you cancel your bid then you get you know uh, a negative rating on eBay so I was one of the last people on the planet to get the Naked One palette but I did finally get it. And um, like I said, I love it um, for everyday makeup and all of that. You know, it's got all the neutral colors. So yeah, that's and that is my favorite go-to eyeshadow. Um, sometimes, because I have so much. Um, let's see, Wrath. What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? <sighs> you know what? I was gonna say eyelashes. I have the love-hate relationship with foundation it's so hard to find foundation that matches your skin and um, and it's so messy and all of that but it does give you a finished look so I wear it when I can but um, it is so messy and it is so um, hard to find the perfect one in your shade so I would say that I have a love-hate relationship with foundation what has been the hardest to find um, you know I've been looking for some Smashbox highlighter um, and uh, I have not been able to find that. They don't have it at the Macy's on State Street here in Chicago. They don't have it at the um, Water Tower Macy's, you know, and um, I, you know, I've been looking for that and it's a little, you know, it costs more than e.l.f. Uh, highlighter, but you know, I figure why not? But it's probably good that they didn't have it because I would have purchased it had they. So I'm just going to use my highlighter that I have from e.l.f. and just kind of like keep on stepping okay uh, gluttony what are your most delicious products wow I would have to say these lip balms they are they are fucking awesome and they smell so good can you smell it <sighs> it smells like lemon pudding or something awesome that is most my most delicious product and I have some Victoria's Secret lip glosses but I would say these these smell so good like lemon pudding or lemon meringue pie or something um, okay number four sloth what beauty product do you neglect due to laziness I would have to say eyelashes they're so hard to put on and um, I have on some today and you would it took me forever to get these eyelashes on. So I would say um, the beauty product that I neglect due to laziness are eyelashes. But you know what, when you really want a finished look after you put on your foundation, concealer, eyeshadow and all of that, you can't beat having eyelashes on because that is just the bomb right there. That is bomb. Um, okay, five, pride. What beauty products give you the most confidence? 
I would have to say mascara and lipstick because I know if I go outside with mascara and lipstick, I'm pretty cool. Um, you know, sometimes I just want to run to the corner Arab store. <laughs> yeah, we got one of those in the neighborhood. And um, I don't want to, you know, just go out looking any old kind of way. So I'll put on, you know, a little coat of mascara and throw on some lipstick, you know, and um, run out and get whatever I have to get. But yeah, mascara and lipstick. If I don't have on anything else, if I have those two items on, those two products on, I feel confident enough to walk out of the house and do whatever. Um, you know, I think that, you know, I don't think I'm ugly, but I do think that makeup uh, does enhance one's beauty or one's features. So I like to wear it when I can, especially now that I'm older. You know, I'm old enough now where I need to be wearing makeup all the time. You know, every day or whenever I go out or whatever, I need to wear makeup. Um, I just need that. When I was younger, I didn't, I hardly ever wore makeup. I just wore lipstick and that happened right up until I was like 40. And then after 40, when I got about 44, 40, 42 or 43, then I decided that it's really time for me to start looking into wearing some makeup. Okay, lust. What attributes do you find most attractive in a man? I would have to say his teeth, his hands, and um, a chiseled face, if possible. Now, as far as, you know, in, inner beauty, I would have to say um, he has to be a man of God, has to know God, has to have God in his life. And I would have to say um, he would have to be smart. Is that inner beauty? He would have to be wise. I'll say that. He would have to be wise because I tend to lean on my man for those kinds of things, you know. Um, I'm wise in my own right. Of course, I do my own thing, independent woman, all of that. But sometimes I need someone to turn to, you know, that's not my dad, you know, that I could talk to. So, um, and that's a man. And that's my age, loves me, and relates to me. So, yeah, I would have to say he has to be wise. Um, and seven, envy. What item would you most like to receive as a gift? Wow. Um... What item would I most like to receive as a gift? That's a good one. Um, hmm. Oh, I know. Tons and tons of eBay lashes so I could practice and practice and practice. No, okay, seriously. Um, what? enough makeup brushes I got I think I have every elf brush on the elf website um, so I guess I would have to say something Mac something Mac like Mac foundation or um, Mac uh, eye palettes something Mac because that's an expensive brand that I would never spend my money on um, so that's it for the seven deadly sins tag. If you're watching this, you've been tagged. Um, Miss Fatabulous, you consider yourself tagged. Love Bags 2010, consider yourself tagged also. So, um, yeah, so that's my seven deadly sins tag. And um, until next time, talk to you soon. Bye.